In 2018, the United States took action that saved our steel industry. In response to decades of layoffs and plant closures in America's steel sector, the White House imposed a 25% tariff on some steel imports under Section 232 of the Trade Expansion Act of 1962. Here are five reasons why we should keep these tariffs in place. First, a strong domestic steel industry is essential to America's national and economic security. We use steel for everything from building aircraft carriers and tanks to keeping the electric grid up and running. In the event of a major military conflict or natural disaster or future pandemic that disrupts global supply chains, we should not be dependent on our adversaries for this critical resource. Second, the tariffs support an industry that has invested $15 billion back into its facilities and workers in the past three years and has a growing workforce that is strong diverse, earns well above median wages, and forms the bedrock of our middle class. Moreover, the tariffs haven't harmed downstream industries. In fact, those industries are adding jobs. And if American steelmakers don't make the product they require, they can always request a tariff waiver. Third, President Biden says there is no reason we can't build wind turbines in Pittsburgh rather than Beijing, and he's right. Strengthened by the Section 232 tariffs, our steel companies stand ready to rebuild America's infrastructure in the coming years, from roads and bridges to pipelines, public transit systems, and more. Fourth, American steelmakers have announced major initiatives to reduce emissions and even become carbon neutral. The tariffs will make it easier to meet our climate targets, investing more in greener American steel rather than depending on carbon-intensive imports from high-polluting countries like China. Finally, while the tariffs are working to reduce import volumes, the global steel glut remains a huge threat. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo agrees, and U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai says the tariffs are an important tool in the toolbox for addressing unfair trade. In May 2021, the U.S. and European Union announced joint talks to address steel excess capacity and find effective solutions, including appropriate trade measures to preserve our critical industries. In the months ahead, the U.S. and its allies must work to end global overcapacity and make sure China winds down its pollution in state-owned steel sector. But until that happens, the steel tariffs must remain, creating a level playing field that ensures good-paying jobs for American workers.